Ooh, this will be fun. The jar game. How many toothbrushes do you think are in here? I'll give you a peek on the sides and bottom. That's how I do it. I, I have won that game more times in my life than any other game. Okay? I'll let you guess and at the end, I'll tell you I'll open it up, okay? I'm at the thrift store again. I am on the hunt for very specific pieces, which is probably to my demise. I should be at home unpacking. We just got home from a trip, but on our bucket list, I have yet to bring Eleanor to the thrift store. So here we are again at Red, White, and Blue, and then right down the road is a Goodwill. So I hope to hit up both today. I'm gonna put a time limit on it. Um, I need a really big picture frame. I have a project in mind that I wanna do, and you know picture frames are like crazy expensive, so I think the best thing to do is just to get it from the thrift store. So that's, what, that's my plan. Let's see if they have anything for us. Last time I came, I got these snazzy shoes and some Kate Spade kicks. So I think uh, we're gonna find some some new one. I don't know, maybe I don't know. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. I know I said I didn't come for clothes, but now that I see the clothes, I'm like, yeah, I'll be looking. Look at those heels too. <gasps> Lilac, violet, ooh, Calvin Klein. Okay, what's the color of the day? Is purple the color of the day? This is a gorgeous Cinderella. White, red, green, 50% off. Blue is 75. All right, I'm gonna take my happy bum over to the frames. This is where we find the best artwork. Check it out. We are celebrating Virginia. Actually, this is a pretty sweet frame. It's not big enough for what I'm looking for. This is very colorful. We found that Dan, Dan, oh, this gem is still here. Dan something that artist from Sydney, Australia. Ooh. Okay. This frame, decent. I can always paint it. It's whatever. Oh crap. Did I bring my measuring tape? Hold on. Let me get my measuring tape out. Not quite as big as what I'm looking for, but I will keep it in mind. It is a red tag. So I think that's 75% off. It's a good contender. I'm also keeping my eye out for a table vase or even a floor vase. Something, uh, Coastal Grandma Rustic. That's my vibe, like that up there. Perfection, if that was a, oh, look, we just came back from Disney. Oh, Tink, we just came, oh. Anyway, that's my, if that was bigger, I'd be all over that, but um, it's not. And then I'm always on the lookout for gems like this, like $6. Wait, is yellow tag on sale? I'm seeing a lot of yellow, so I'm gonna say assume no. This is way too small for what I'm looking for. Oh my gosh, but sometimes you just can't pass up a good landscape, a good architecture photo. Ooh, a cork board. Ooh, hello spring. Ooh, coastal, hold up. Oh, actually, art? Who is the artist? Oh my, I really like this, but I have a pro, oh my gosh, look how darling. <gasps> and they're playing with the dog, this is so cute. I'm gonna put this in just for fun. Ooh, succulent. All right, coastal vibes, too coastal, too kitschy, too kitschy. You know what? Last time, ooh, the eagles. <laughs> we went to the other thrift store. I like the pinks in there. They didn't have nearly as much artwork. Ooh, London back there. Did we see that last time we came? Oh my gosh, just the frame. I bet you this frame at Michael's alone is like $50, you know, or maybe even more. Why, frames are so crazy expensive. Even that, that's pretty cool. Where's that, San Francisco? I feel like that's San Francisco. All right, anything good over here? I have to remind myself, I'm kind of just looking for the frame too. If I see something amazing in the artwork, that's just a bonus. Bigger the better at this point. Oh my goodness, look how darling that is. Ooh, a beauty. This is upside down. I don't like it. <laughs> if I don't like it upside down, I'm probably not gonna like it right side up, right? Ooh, a marine, decluttered that. Ooh, maybe I'll find a mirror. Oh, what's this? Is that a movie? I'm look, I mean, first of all, perfection. Second of all, I'm looking for something with a really thin frame, but maybe I shouldn't be, you know? Like even this. Oh, I see some baskets. Is that a sewing basket or a picnic basket? Is this cute? I've been looking for like decor. I don't know anything about anything, but that's like $3. I think yellow's half off. Is that cute? I don't know what I would do with it. <laughs> it's kind of cute though. Oh my gosh, speaking of baskets, there's a ton more up here. Rustic, oh, that's for like 
um, forks and knives and whatnot. Hold on, this one kind of looks like an acorn and I'm digging it. Oh, ooh, grapes. <laughs> I could always face the grapes like toward the wall or whatever. Oh my gosh, a sweet vintage mirror. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Ooh, I am looking for an eight by 10 frame. Ooh, that's unique. Is this another Kevin Don? Oh, oh my gosh, someone last time I came said they would really like this. Here it is, it's waiting for you. <laughs> Hold on a second. This one over here is like hiding out in the corner. It's huge, it's massive. It is a behemoth and it is 50% off. I'm not worried about the color because um, my plan is to paint it. Uh, okay, so I've got three very amazing options right here. I'm gonna take my tape measure out and see what I can do about it. It is exactly the size I was hoping for. So th that is the size differences between all of them. And I think the back one is the clear winner here. I really like this one because of the artwork. I'm thinking of getting something, it's around this size for a different wall, but maybe I'll just get a print. I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking all kinds of things. It is the gift that keeps on giving. There's more in the back. Look at that frame and it's 50% off. This is crazy. Someone picked out all the gems and just leaned them up against this wall. I mean, gems is subjective, okay? That could be something. I mean, that looks like Cinque Terre. I feel like I came, I saw, I conquered. I need to uh, check that thing out because I'm not gonna carry it around the rest of the time I'm here, but I'm looking at vases. And I know there's a DIY where you can mix baking soda and some paint and make it look, uh, you know, like pottery. So I might grab a vase and try to do that too. I'm just looking for the right shape. I don't know what I'm gonna put inside. Like I'm not a plant gal, but we'll give it a try. I kind of like this shape back here. All right, $3, doable. And then this, this like crystal, I don't think you can do the baking soda hack on that. It's giving coastal grandma. <laughs> I actually love these. <laughs> I think they'll be great filler for my cabinet. I'm not even gonna mention this piece back here. I mean, an obvious gem. <laughs> I love how it's $5. <laughs> okay, coastal grandma vibes, part two. Some seashell, what can we do with this? Also, I don't think yellow is half off. I don't know, I have to look at the screen again. I already forgot. We could, we could do something with that, right? I don't know what. I'm not that crafty, so just talk me out of it. Hitting the jackpot, I feel like someone definitely decluttered their coastal vibes. This is a DIY and I love it. Check it, here's some more. Hey, oh, wrong way. I could totally do something with that. <laughs> Man, but I'm gonna pass on that, but I'm still looking for like an eight by 10 frame for the quote someone crocheted me. What does this say? A house is made of walls and beams. A home is made of love and dreams. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, what are these pencils? They found laser tag and then, what are these just for decor or? No, for writing, they actually work. That's pretty awesome. I found some vases. This one's 10 bucks, but I feel like it looks most like a pottery piece. And it has some, not texture, but like, I don't know, it's not perfectly circular. Then I found this one. It's a contender, it's $3. And it feels like pottery, but I don't know what I would put in it. I mean, to be fair, I don't know what I'm gonna put in any of this crap. I don't know, I think I'm leaning toward this one. I'm walking to check out these frames and I found some German dolls. Those are darling. Look at his later hosen. That was awesome. I'm so glad that I grabbed this. I don't know where I parked, I think over here. Anyway, I'm so pumped, it's huge. I was looking at frames and they are so pricey. But I just, I have a question. I'm wondering if people who, cause that, this place is cash only, if people say this is the dollar bill and they put the change on top of it, I'm wondering if those people have ever received money that way <laughs> because it is so confused. Ow, oh gosh, ah, uh, I hurt myself. It's not confusing, it's frustrating to like try to balance the change and like dump it. <laughs> Just hand me the change first, dude. Okay, back at it. Someone found a really cute set of mixing bowls. Is that yours? Yeah. Good find. Ooh, a Columbia jacket. I kind of have a thing for clocks. I really like this one, blue and all that good stuff. I don't know, like, look at that. It's unique. I like something that's slightly different. So I did buy a grandfather clock, not one that's on the floor. You'll see soon, I think. But there are a ton up here. Ooh, I hear some of them tick tocking away. Like, look at that clown one. Come on, doesn't that have your name on it? This one too, this one's pretty unique and different. Hold on a second. Check this one out. 
Lake House, what? <laughs> Isn't that cool? I guess we're coming to the front to check out what the heck is up here. Ooh, party beads. Does that say $1.99? You guys, this is a steal. Have you ever looked up how much beads are online? So much money. $1.99 for that? Unreal. Unreal. Ooh, hey, sunglasses for you guys. I found this hat too. Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm sorry, does it make me old that I'm super excited to find a bunch of toothbrushes? This is crazy. <laughs> what else can we find? What other gems are in here waiting for us? Hey, it's a party up in here. I found some dish soap. What a steal. Last time, I didn't know that they had all these pants and shorts up here. I'm looking for some like linen pants, something comfortable breathable. I don't know. Shopping for pants is so hard for me. Ooh, sweatpants. Those actually look very comfortable. Not that I wear sweatpants. Are you joking? Three dollars? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna regret not getting those. All right, I'm just gonna feel around. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. <laughs> and then the shorts up here. Oh, hold on a second. Look how fun those are. Ooh, these look fun too. Shorts are another thing. I'm like, I don't really want to, you know? Ooh, pockets. Banana Republic. I feel like, I don't know. I have to try them on. It's hard for me to find shorts that I like too. Like they're either too long. Like I don't like a Bermuda style, but I also don't like them riding up my bum. And I feel like there's a fine line in the lady section for that, you know? These are from Stitch Fix. Could you even imagine how much someone paid for these? You know what I mean? I've seen Stitch Fix hauls before. I know what it's all about. Ooh, these look really nice and comfortable. I'm not sure. I might give these a try. Check it, a gem. It's a crossbody too. It's 10 bucks, but nah, I don't know. Not that I need it. Oh, I like this wallet. I'm coming down here. I don't normally, does that say? Oh, I thought it said Gucci. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. Anyway, I found this. I normally don't look up here. I found some really cool things. I'm looking in the white top section. It's a long story. Found this J Crew. It's new with tags, forty-eight dollars, and they're trying to sell it for fifteen. Oh no, white is fifteen per fifty percent off. So seven dollars for a nice little blouse. I don't know if I'm gonna like the collar. The reason I'm looking for some white tops is I've noticed, and I think it's my fault because okay, so the baby carrier I have. Ooh, a little halter number. It leaves black marks around the armpits of all of the shirts that I wear. And I think it's because I wore it like in the water. Like I go to Adventure Island and I went to Aquatica. And I think the chlorine and all the chemicals probably ruined it. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. No, someone needs to get this. Dr Ooh, dress barn. It is a find. I really like that, but I would never wear a turtleneck. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous too. For $3? Can someone please? You know why? It's because it's Florida. No one wants to wear that kind of crap. It's so heavy. Well, maybe someone will grab it. Probably not. I found a couple of sheet sets here. This is Jake and Gemma. I don't know. It's mermaids. $10. And then I found this one. This is from Amazon. It's um, Anna and Elsa. $15. It's a twin size. I'm gonna pass because when Meredith gets her own room, when the rooms are finished, she's going to, oh, that's a nice shower curtain. Ooh, that might be good for your guys' bathroom when it's finished. Oh wait, they don't need a shower curtain. Ha ha ha. They have these really sweet muslin baby blankets for just $3. Oh my gosh, I love Hooters. Should I get a Frisbee? Doesn't Meredith love the tiny ones? Oh, she does love the tiny ones. Five dollars, I don't know. She has a lot. They look like they don't even have shirts. I'm always amazed. Check out these suitcases. Like $15 and you can get a really nice suitcase. This is wild to me. Oh my gosh, that drum set. I feel like they always have a drum set here. It is travel season. Get your suitcase. Get it now. Hey, do they have that walker still? Remember that Juvie? I would cry if they had it. I would cry tears of joy. They don't. They have one of these on the go baby dome. 15 bucks, that's a good price. If you're looking for a baby dome. Eh, I don't see the walker. This is like a proper Dutch oven. And man, it's heavy too, $30. I'm looking for a cast iron skillet for one of my friends. She's on the hunt and I said, I'll keep an eye out for you. I don't see any. I thought they'd be easier to find. They're not, they do have a lot of pots and pans. 
Slim pickings on the cast iron. Ooh, some copper pots though. Okay, this is one of my favorite sections. I am on the hunt for scissors and I feel like they don't sell them. I thought I found some last time in a bag. Like they just sell a bag of random stuff. Let me try it. Like, okay, random stuff, $3. What do you get? Some construction paper, $3 alone for that crap. A stapler, are you joking? $3 at least for that. Some staples, post-it notes. Do you know how expensive those are? A ruler, you know what I mean? So they just put random stuff in here. Well, one time I got a bag with just some office supplies and I thought it was going to have scissors. No, it was an envelope opener. Broke my heart when I saw it. Ooh, I did get a calculator in that bag though. <laughs> I didn't keep it, <laughs> I donated it. But that's what I'm on the hunt for today. I'm not sure they even keep scissors because for, you know, obvious reasons, but that's not gonna stop me from looking. You guys know I'm always on the hunt for scissors. Oh, frozen supplies for an Elsa party. Oh my gosh, are you joking? Two dollars? To, are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I'm saying? Do you see what I see? This is insane. Hold on. What the heck is this? A tot cup? This is three bucks for all of this crap. Tommy Tippy anti colic. I need that. Anti colic. I need that. But this is what I'm talking about. I mean, this is probably the knockoff brand, but first of all, who the heck cares? All right, down here. I don't know what the heck that is. Definitely not scissors, but you know. I thought it was worth a second glance. Ooh, ooh. What kind of crayons are those? Up oh, twistable crayons. $3.99, but the white tag is half off. Are you joking? The twistable crayons alone are like $9. Is that thunder? We gotta get out of here. Ooh, perfect. Beachy coastal vibes in there. That's a bunch of candles. Definitely not office supplies. Ooh, what's down here? Is anyone else like as interested in this stuff as I am? Look at this paint set. Like, I don't know what that stuff does. Is that like a compass? Is that what it's even called? I don't remember. Look, pens, pens. I don't know, like, look at this stuff. Am I the only one who's impressed? $4 for this, you get Crayola and glow sticks and pens and stuff. Look at these highlighters, never opened, big highlighters. Just come on. Actually, I think it's a truck outside. I don't think it's thunder. Glue sticks. Oh my gosh, Ticonderoga pencils. Ticonderoga pencils. I'm gonna check, because the girls have been wanting some of these little notebooks, so I'm gonna see if they're interested in that. And then bonus, we get Ticonderogues too. What's in here? Ooh, so construction paper, always a win. I don't know what the heck is back there. Wet erase markers? For three dollars you get five it's unopened oh my gosh people if you're going back to school shopping you need to stop at this thrift store first i mean there's so much balloons i swear i never knew how long my kids would be entertained by balloons balloons <laughs> oh party supplies oh my goodness okay well Needless to say, hey, you need some highlight. Oh, I already looked through that bag. Come on down to red, white, and blue. Okay. Look at all these artsy pens, gel pens. I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, Dr. Seuss Day with a jute box. All kinds of crap here. Oh my goodness. First of all, these coolers, I bet you they're way more affordable. <gasps> a bunt pan. I wanted to make monkey bread, but I don't have a bunt pan. I decluttered it a few years ago. I'll probably still live without it. <laughs> oh wait, the first sign of Halloween. Two dollars, I don't even know what it is. Oh my gosh, they're towels, like um, kitchen towels for two bucks. I mean, home goods who, you know what I mean? Should I snag those just for funsies? I'm gonna think on that. I was really just wanting to show you this sled. I mean, first of all, functional, right? Second of all, it's Florida. <laughs> Third of all, you can use it as like a decor piece. Isn't this cute? All right, I'll bring you down the aisle with me. Ooh, is this glass? Impressed, goosebumps even. <laughs> Look at all these platters down here. You never know when you're gonna find a gem, you know? Oh my goodness, is this a cake? Like to put a cake in? That's actually pretty funny. I've never seen one of those before. Not one that looks like a cake. Look how cute this is. Oh, that's too little for anything I make. Look at those jars too, way cheaper than Ikea even. 
What would I put in there? I don't know. I always think, oh, I need some more jars. <laughs> oh, that watermelon thing. It's so impractical. It's actually pretty, pretty nice. I, ha I think I have plenty. Ooh, a honey pot. Is that a honey pot? That's cute. I mean, do people actually put honey in there? Wait, is this the pasta maker that I've been waiting for? I don't think so. Actually, I don't think that's a pasta maker at all. Ooh, candy. It is fall, almost. Ew, gross, did I just say that? It's not fall, almost. It is summer time, <laughs> okay, pineapple. All right, that's our vibe right now. Actually, it is kind of almost summertime. Ooh, look how, I mean, yeah, fall. Anyway, I say that because all the back to school stuff is already at the stores and I'm like, please, can we wait? Like at least a couple weeks. Although, watch next week, I'll be like there shopping. You gotta shop early, otherwise this stuff goes. So I'm looking for smaller mixing bowls. I saw this, it's a Temptations. People love these. My aunt loves them. I actually really like that print. I don't know, I'm gonna think on that. I like more of a glass bowl so you can see inside, you know, but that's nice too. Oh, actually that platter is nice. Speaking of mixing bowls, first of all, that monkey, so distracting. I think I'm just gonna use this as a mixing bowl. How many cups, eight cups? I don't have an eight cupper. That is a sale. You just got a sale. I'm, I'm actually real pumped about that. Look at those two, those um, platters. Oh, and that one has a lid. Those are the best kind with a lid. I don't have a card, so I'm just here holding. The girls are going through all their things. Hold on here, there's a couple with lids. I can't even get that one off, so I'm gonna pass. And then this one, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that too. It's Pyrex. Hold on, let me try one more. It's just too shallow. What am I gonna put in there, pudding? Check it, I'm always on the hunt for some whisks. Actually, what's that purple? What's this? Ooh, a knife, okay. I'm digging the colors, but I'm, I don't need that. You know what, we do need spoons. I don't know where the heck all of our spoons go. I think I made it to the Rubbermaid Mecca. Look at all these Rubbermaid containers. How much is it, $4? If you knew how much these were, I might snag some of these because these are fantastic for packing lunches and stuff. And I'm not sure about that large one, but all the others, they are winners. All right, there's also some pumpkins here. Now I have zero hands, because I'm just, why? Why <laughs> Why do I live my life like this? <laughs> why don't I just get a cart? Do you see anything else? I actually saw some cups. Remember we saw those at Costco? I said, no one wants to rewash party cups. That's a, it's a party, okay? And then these over here, I don't know if they're plastic. I don't have hands to open it. I'm not sure I even need cups, but that seems like a really good deal. <laughs> All the glass sets and more sets. Oh, look at that. Oh, remember the, um, what's that thing I made, the trifle dish? That's like a fancy trifle dish. I'm actually really happy about that trifle dish purchase. Ooh, down here, it's another Temptations. What is it called? Temptations or something? I feel like that's close enough. You understand, it's the same thing as this. What is it? Yeah, Temptations, I got it. I thought it was like a play on words, but no, it's not. All right, more water bottles. Nothing exciting though, you know what I mean? Give me a good water bottle and then I'll be pumped. Ooh, someone collected all their wine corks. Remember when that was a thing? Might still be a thing, I don't know. It's not a thing for me. Ooh, a punch bowl? Check it. Ooh, look at this trifle dish. See, this is unique. It's a different shape. It might not be a trifle dish, but it's like good enough. Remember when people did punch buggy? I'm into it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Christmas. I was gonna just show you more signs of fall here. Hey, the candy corn. Is that a reusable candle? Or is that just like a candle holder? That's actually pretty cute. Not gonna lie. I would get that. Ooh, hearth in hand. What's happening here? A snowflake cookie stamp. Check it. It's half off. I can't keep it open. Again, no hands. Did you get a glimpse? Ooh, what's this? Oh my goodness. Everything. Hold on. Oh, less globes than before. Only a couple. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to... Uh... Ooh, okay. Hold on, Shopkins. Oh, well, first of all, the Shopkins were $14. Oh, look, another Lily Pulitzer bag. Unless Avelina put that back. She found it for me. And I said, oh, I have that one. Someone gave it to me. So nice of them. Ooh, I really like that bag. Ooh, Coastal Grandma. Chic. Coastal Glamma. <laughs> I like that. Not enough though. Hold on, I found this. This bag. This purple one. It's giving me some vibes. I have a weak spot for shoes. We're clear about that. Okay, $13. The brand is Me Too. I don't know. I already threw it on my foot because I'm basically in love. Oh, 
no. I understand why someone donated these. I can feel already, like if I wear them a while, this back part, that's not gonna feel so good. But I do love a good loafer. So let me try to look for some more. I do like a good colorful shoe too. Boots galore, always. And they always have really great brands here. Like barely touched, barely. Ooh, look at these Toms. I don't know, I feel like I'm falling in love with Toms. $9.99. I don't know. Are Tom's like overdone? I feel like they're comfortable. I wore mine at Disney all day, two days. I'm really liking these boots. I don't know if they're my size. I guess I should look a little closer. It's hard for me to see anything. Oh, no, they're not my size, but there's, there's the brand. I just found some Crocs behind me. Would have made really great garden shoes, but they were like two sizes too big. Those are cute too. I don't know if I'll ever wear those. Ooh, these on the other hand, these are right up my alley as a matter of fact. Barefoot freedom. Is it supposed to feel like I'm barefoot? Oh my gosh, barefoot freedom. I hate them. How about these? Aren't these like new? New trendy? New something? I don't know, new? <laughs> Trying on this sweater, who am I? <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying. It's like a bubble sweater. I really love it. I'm not gonna get it. Talk me out of it, okay? Because I really want it. <laughs> I'm never gonna wear it. The Good Egg, isn't this a popular book? Ooh, Fancy Nancy back here. I've been loving buying the um, books this way. This is $2, or it might even be 75% off because it's a red tag, but even just the normal $4 for a bag of books, it's really awesome when you can find, like they have a lot of these step into reading ones, and then there's multiple in there. Now we have arrived at the Goodwill. Parking lot is empty. Where is everyone? Probably doing more exciting things. <laughs> That's good for us. That means there's gonna be plenty of treasures inside. I need a frame. Looking for an eight by 10 frame, but they have new stuff. I have heard people say orange is 50% off. I've heard people say, oh, I saw a Christmas skirt. Wanna see it? I've heard people say that this place is turning into like, they sell a whole bunch of new stuff, you know? I feel like that's always been the case. Look, this Christmas skirt, fashion. I see what they mean with like even the shoes over here. Ooh, but look how organized this place is. Oh my goodness. Maybe because there's hardly anyone in here to mess it up. This looks really nice. Look at those Nikes down there. I need a pair of shoes. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's almost Christmas. Those are my size too. Dreams. Paris. Ooh, I actually kind of like this vibe. It is almost fall after all. Oh, not my size. Cinderella. It's one of my pet peeves when I wear shoes and they don't fit. <laughs> Check out these fancy Crocs. These like ballerina Crocs. I just tried them on. I just need a shoe that I can slide on real quick that won't get wet when the grass is wet. I just need to like take the garbage out and you know what I mean? I need a shoe like that. This won't fit the bill, but dang is that cute. That's a, a new day. Ooh, I really like these too. Ooh, Steve Madden, fancy. How about these over here? I mean, these could work, but I, I would like a little more fashion, like these. These are actually perfect. Oh, I can't even believe. I haven't even looked at the two-piece sets. Ooh, this is what they're talking about, all new. New, 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 new. What the heck? Ooh, speaking of new, they're putting these out. All right, two-piece sets, where are they? All right, home goods, here we are. I haven't given up on the two-piece sets, but I haven't given in to them either. Ooh, a Baby Joy. A Baby Joy travel bed. That's actually pretty cool. I might just use that as a normal bed. Would this look fantastic in my dining room or what? Wait, is this a matching chair? Kind of love it. Not my vibe, but uh, ooh, look at this hutch. Okay, I am in looking for a floor vase. <gasps> Is that Rudolph? Guys, what month is it, okay? They have more furniture here than I've really seen before. I am at a different Goodwill that I don't often come to. This is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at that Anna Elsa chair. There's a fluffy thing behind that I'm trying to get to. Ooh, a floor vase, this is exactly what I was talking about. I mean, not exactly, but it is a floor vase. Not quite my vibe. I'm sure I could fix it up, but I won't. All right, what's over here? Where's the, oh, hold on a minute here. Found another floor vase. 
Goodwill was like, you, you want a floor place? Manifested that. All right, how about that? That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, $30, what are they, nuts? And then there's something up there. Oh, it looks like a pillow. Looks like a hammock, I think, maybe. Look at all this furniture, it's blowing my mind. That coat rack could be something. Did you see that before? I just keep thinking about it. Obviously not for me, no thank you. I feel like it would just collect all kinds of clutter around my house. What is this, a cot? Could actually be useful. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there's the picture frames. Okay, I was gonna say, they used to have them down here. Look at all this new crap. Wait, what do I need? Neosporin, you think they have any here? I will laugh if they do, that would be amazing. All right, let's see if we see anything more incredible here. It's hard to look through. It's like, you know how you organize the tops of your pots? Like I can't even look, oh, here it is. The only one I can really look at, I don't know about all this. I mean, I'm sure it's nice, but I don't know. I feel like it's not what I'm really looking for. I just want something, you know, simple edges. I know I bought something and I'm only looking for an eight by 10, but if I see something more amazing here, I'm not opposed. Oh wait, that's it? <laughs> oh my gosh, where are the little, little frames? <laughs> where are the little pictures? What about this? Is that the vibe? Actually, this is the vibe. <laughs> what is that? Like insulation? Okay, well I'm highly disappointed. Like where are the normal size frames? This could be something. Okay, so far this is my least favorite Goodwill. Look, we just saw this. Oh, hold on, a Pyrex set. I feel like I bought this set, 24 bucks? I feel like I bought it for cheaper at Target. I just saw this huge uh, foliage. Did you know that they're out? They are out. I also feel like I used to have a table lamp like this. It was cuter in my eyes. I thought it was cuter. It was round, but uh, anyway, apparently those fake plants, they're out. It's like not a thing. I didn't know that, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I feel like it was only a few months ago when I got my olive tree. If I don't have fake plants, they will just die. And then I will only have branches. And that is not cute either. Okay, now I really understand what they're talking about. I like, what? Come on, I want the old, I want the crappy, I want the vintage, I want this, but different, you know? It's all this, Coastal Grandma, actually, perfection. That could really work, but I'm not gonna do it just out of principle. Check it, I found this Tupperware veggie tray. How much is it, $5? That is a steal of a deal. I bet someone paid like 50 bucks for this back in the day. Tupperware brand and what's the other one? Pampered Chef. I feel like they sell really quality pieces. They have random hangers. Actually, how much? Steal of it, three bucks? Come on, that is a steal of a deal. I'm about to clean out my closet, so I like don't want any of that. I just want tchotchkes, okay? <laughs> I just want a picture frame. <laughs> Um, anyway, what was I saying about cleaning out my closet? That'll happen eventually. Oh, look how cute. It's like a mini little Rachel Ray pan. Oh, it is Rachel Ray. Two bucks, she crazy. Not from me, okay. Any whisks over here? I don't see them either. Oh wait, do we need some of these? Do people still use these? Again, another great example of like brand new stuff. Peppa Pig with some chalk. Okay, it's kind of confusing me. Lamps, I can dig it. Clear lights. Ooh, karaoke machines? I mean, we have one. Ooh, an air fryer. Ours is smaller than that. Okay, so far zero out of 10. Is that a guitar amp? Not that I need any of this stuff. Is that a sewing machine? <laughs> I don't know what anything is, but I can guess. Is that a telephone? <laughs> we recently went to the hotel and, you know, Meredith is little. She picked up the landline, like the telephone. What is this? <laughs> A new stuff everywhere. Wow, get this out of here. I don't want any of this. Hold on, check it. There's an Instant Pot. Ew, $80? Can't you get an Instant Pot new for $80? Oh, that's a little bit too much. That's a lot too much. That's a little crazy. Check this out. This is what I came for. Okay, Big Lots wants to sell it for 10 bucks brand new. And Goodwill wants to sell it for six, but guess what? It's half off. Isn't orange shag half off? This could be a vibe, okay? But in my house, that would be a cracked, straight open and broken. So I'm gonna keep on looking. That really took a lot out of me. It's really heavy. <laughs> that was re that was re unnecessarily heavy. Oh, Avelina is really wanting a little teapot set, but 
again, it's just, it's just gonna break. You, you have to find like a, a play teapot set. Look at those Reese's mugs. Not that we need any of this crap. Oh, hold on, party light? Is this party light? It looks like party light. Someone out there has this in their home and they're like, man, that was my favorite. I love party light. I recently got rid of some of my party light stuff because I just didn't use it and I bought it when I was, I mean, my mom bought it for me when I was like, I don't know, 12. <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. Okay, well, they do have a nice assortment of vases. I already bought one to do the DIY with, but if I find something here, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm open-minded. Actually, this is really nice. Oh, it's a little too small. Okay, now I'm, I don't like this. New, new stuff, serving board. I want, I just want an eight by 10 frame. Are they over here? Where are the picture frames? I'm gonna keep looking. Look at this bowl set though. Ooh, gems. Oh my goodness, another gem. Peek on it. Another gem, I feel like my Oma had those plates. Don't you just love like finding stuff that reminds you of your childhood? Hey, speaking of stuff that reminds you of your childhood, I think I'm gonna look through the sweaters. <laughs> so fun. Look, even the artwork up there is like new. Okay, anyway, I found the picture frames. Hallelujah. Look at this one. See, this is what I'm talking about, Goodwill. This is the kind of crap I want. Love that, $3? All right, that's fair. Uh, actually, that's not what I want at all, but you, you understand. Eight by 10 is what I'm looking for, but maybe something oval. That's my hope. So far, I see nothing. I see the end. I see goose egg, but I'm gonna keep on looking. Uh, it's not looking very promising, but you never know what you're gonna find when you dig. Well, that didn't take long. I found Jesus and a DIY. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, this is really not looking good for me. I'm home from the thrift store. Clearly, I'm gonna share a haul. I only, almost, never. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. My eyes are burning, I don't know why. I've been wearing my contacts too much, I guess. Anyway, I figured I'd share with you what the heck I got. Obviously, I went for this and I'm so glad that I found it. This massive frame. This is gonna be in my dining room and I am pumped. Obviously it's not gonna look like this. You'll see, I'm excited. I don't know how to take it out of the frame now that I'm looking. I see a couple nails. They might be glued. I'll figure it out. All for the low, low price of $7? Like, it's insane to me. I'm not sure if you know how expensive frames are and that is a behemoth of a frame I'm pretty sure that's the same size, if not a little smaller, than a frame that I had to buy for the Beauty and the Beast painting that my cousin did for me. It's like sentimental, I don't wanna get rid of it. It's so special, like back in 92, okay? Painted it for me when I was a kid, I had it in my bedroom as a kid, so I've held on to it all this time. I've never had a frame for it because it's so expensive. It was over $100, $150 maybe, like dumb. Dumb. I couldn't find any that were the perfect size at the thrift store, so I just, I mean, it had, how many years has it been? Okay, without a frame, I finally did it, and then when, you know, I found that one, so I'm glad. Uh, I have a really special project that I'm gonna do with that for my dining room. You'll see that, hopefully it'll be this week. I'll try to figure it out. Okay, so that's what I went for, and then I didn't get anything at Goodwill. What, weird, I think we were just over it. And, well, the girls wanted stuff, and I was like, I think you've got enough, okay? I'm gonna share my goodies and then maybe I'll share like an overview of what they got. They got so much crap. Uh, but I told I'm it's in here because I said, whatever, whenever we get home, you need to clean your room and then I'll give you your goodies because their rooms were needing a tidy. We just got back from vacation. This is like the first thing. I just needed my dining room done and I was like, okay, we'll take this opportunity to take the girls Anyway, short story long, I'm trying to go through this fast. It's not working out for me very well. I'm trying to not get the glare on this. This, I almost didn't get this. And then I thought, you know what? There are a few areas in my home that could be useful. Um, I, you know what it was? It was just the kids playing with the dog down there. I just thought it was so dang cute. I think I'm gonna paint the frame or do something with the frame, but I really like it. I think it's darling and for $8 or if that was half off, ridiculous. 
artwork at the thrift store the best place to find artwork period and you know what never did i ever think i was gonna find some uh hand soap at the thrift store but look at me go i actually am in dire need this isn't even hand soap it's dish soap and i am in dire need of dish soap i haven't put in my thrive market order yet and that's normally where i stock up on my uh what kind of <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We just had Long John Silver's for dinner. It was basically the worst dinner I've ever had in my life. I haven't had that since I was a child. <laughs> and we were driving by, Meredith, or whatever her name is, Eleanor, said, what's Long John Silver's? <laughs> she corrected herself. But I was like, oh my gosh, they don't even know what it is. So I had to give them some hush puppies and we got the family dinner. Spent an arm and a leg. But, uh... I don't know, I guess I didn't really have to mess up the kitchen today. Anyway, I got some dish soap. What was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. It was only $6 for each of these. And you know what? I didn't even do the math. How much do these sell for at the normal store? I'm gonna go check. Okay, well, it's $9.79 depending on where you buy it. If you get it from Staples, it's gonna set you back $20. <laughs> what? Don't shop at Staples, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I also got, um, this was $2 and 50 cents. I just thought this was so darling. Listen, I don't have a lot of tchotchkes like this, <laughs> or maybe I do in my closet and when I clean my closet out, but this stuff in my closet, I feel like it's in there because I don't want it, you know? So it's in there. I'll clean it out. That's my goal for this week. Maybe the end of the, I don't know. I, I have my week to plan out, but anyway, this will probably go in my dining room. I just really like clocks and I thought this one was really cute. I could hang it on the wall. I could just prop it up in the case in there. I don't know how to decorate and I'm just trying my best. That's the moral of that story. Okay, another DIY for the dining room because you know, I saw Exo McKenna do it about four years ago and I've been thinking about it ever since. <laughs> so you get baking soda, you get paint, and you do it and it's gonna be great. Maybe I'll just keep it these colors. I don't know, it's kind of giving Lily Pulitzer, right? I spent too much money on that one, but I did find a vase. Well, I don't know where it is, but I'll show you when I find it that's clear. And hey, check this mirror out, $4. I just thought this was so darling. It's um, like one side is magnified and the other side isn't. I think it's like a vintage mirror. Just look how darling that is. I thought that was so cute. My bath, it won't match anything, but I don't care. Nothing in my house matches. Okay, and then I did end up getting this with the Ticonderoga pencils. I mean, let's just bust this open. The kids always ask for these, ooh, Honors College, these little notebooks. And I end up spending like $6 for them at Home Goods or whatever. This is great. Just here you go. And this whole bag was three dollars i'm an average size book with a huge heart i don't know what that means probably why it ended up at the thrift store oh, fabric markers oh the kids are gonna have a field day with that and it also came with paints like is this a joke and then a pad of paper a couple of glue sticks i'll be surprised if these are still oh my gosh they're brand spanking new new and new oh my gosh won't be sticky soon once my kids get a hold of them. These are the pre-sharpened pencils, are they? Oh my gosh, they're the pre-sharpened pencils. Back to school shopping, done. That's everything that was in that bag for three bucks. These alone are like $9.99. Saving money left and right. Oh my gosh, speaking of saving money left and right, I have a piece of hair. It just keeps floating in and out of my mouth. Okay, this was $8. How many toothbrushes do you think are in here? Let's play a game. It's like that jar game, you know? Ooh, this'll be fun. The jar game. How many toothbrushes do you think are in here? I'll give you a peek on the sides and bottom. That's how I do it. I, I have won that game more times in my life than any other game, okay? I'll let you guess and at the end, I'll tell you I'll open it up, okay? And then I got these shorts. These are cute, right? And they were 75% off. $9.99 minus 75%. I don't know, what's that, three, three and a half dollars? They're cute, right? And they got pockets. I think they're J. Crew or something. And then I grabbed a, a onesie, a white onesie. And I thought, this is the outfit. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll try it on for you or something. I gotta take these off now. Does it look cute? 
Did I even try it on for you? It's whatever. I just thought, you know, I wasn't trying to shop for clothes or anything, but I did see this out of the corner of my eye. Actually, I was trying to shop for some linen pants. Didn't find any, but I did find those, and I was like, that's my vibe. Shorts are hard for me to find, and, and uh, oh, well, I guess I found some. Okay, what's in here? Bunch of glass. Surprise, it didn't break. This is the other vase that I landed on. $3 for this one. So I'll see what the baking soda works best on. Baking soda. And then an eight cup measuring cup. I don't have one of these. And I'm pretty delighted to find one, okay? And for just five bucks. What else is in here? Oh, I did get these. These were $3.99. Oh my gosh. I'm not even joking when I tell you this alone. Maybe it comes in a pack of two. Rubbermaid containers. These are $3.99 slash more. It's probably $5.99. I should probably look that up. Let me look that up real quick. I'll just put it, I'll put it on the screen. It's whatever that says because you know, the baby wants me. Oh, is this the salad one? Check it. Oh my gosh. Look, your little dressing goes in there. This is fantastic. And not only that, I got more and I got half size containers and I got sandwich containers and I got another half size container. All for $3.99. Talk about a bargain. Okay, that's not a deal. That's a steal. Did I buy a shirt? For $2.99, I did all in motion. It's just a workout tank, and I thought, ah, Kim, you need another one. Ooh, okay, the books are always something I love going through. Those are all for the kids. Nope, just, I got these disposable. Okay, hold up. Two dollars for this. Someone on Instagram, I think, was talking about these, and I thought, hmm, I barely go out to eat. You know what this is? It's like a disposable placemat. You put it down when you go out to eat, that way your kid can, like, just pick off the table. Because you know kids slam around the utensils and the cups and bowls and all that stuff. So, you know, you just put it on the table, but the table's dirty or whatever. So you throw that down. My child will still probably push it off the placemat, okay? But I figured, well, I'll just use this and uh, I don't know, we'll try it out. I don't go out to eat that much, but it is summertime and sometimes we do go out to eat. It's just not very enjoyable if you ask me. We pay so much money for food that isn't that great. Okay, I also ended up getting these. <laughs> Listen, it's my grandma chic area. Area? <laughs> my glamma, glamma, that's funny. Uh, anyway, Coastal Vibes, it's giving, I live in Florida. I never, ever, ever thought I would be this person to decorate my house with like a container of seashells. Sasha, I kind of knew I was that person because I'm pretty sure I have a huge mason jar full of seashells under Wentworth sink, unless I decluttered it. I'm gonna have to check on that. Uh, I'm just gonna tell everyone we collected these seashells at the seashore. And by seashore, I mean the Gulf, every time we go to the beach. and. You know, people believe what you tell them. Okay, ripping into this, spent $3.99 on four step up books. Fancy Nancy is Meredith's favorite. So I'm ha I was happy to see that at least one of them was in here and then Jurassic Park, Wentworth loves that, perfect. And then 100 Shoes. It's, you know, the classic from your childhood. The 100 Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's wanting me outside, so let me get through these books, okay? This was only $2 for four books. We've got Pete the Cat, we've got Star Wars, we've got Let's Pick Apples. This has a sticker for $3.50 on it, and then Rags to Riches, the story of Sophia the First. And then I saw another one with Fancy, and this is Red Pack, so it was 75% off from $4. I love that they do these bagged books, you know? It's just great for the kids. They go through books so quickly. So, I mean, you read a book in like two minutes, five minutes if you make it stretch and you talk about the scenery and you ask questions and all that good stuff, okay. So we've got Fancy Nancy, uh, Unicorn something, Pool Time with Clifford the dog. Our first day at first grade, this is perfect. Wentworth is going into first grade. One, two, three, counting sticker book, we love that. I've never seen those people in my life and uh, I'm pretty sure all the stickers are gone. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> and then I got one more Moose Tosh. I just thought this one was really cute, so I grabbed it. It's a Moose Tosh. And then we have parts. Parts of what? I don't know, parts of Ted Arnold. 
Alright, well, I guess we'll have to read it to find out what that's about. Dogzilla. Mr. Wolf's Pancakes. Ah, this is perfect. And then Moustache. I've never heard of a moustache before. There's so many books I've never even read. Okay, probably I would say, I would, I would argue most of the books I have never read. Because Hooked on Phonics just didn't work for me. Wouldn't that be funny if one day I got sponsored by Hooked on Phonics? <laughs> I should put that on my dream sheet. Okay, anyway. Uh, last case I'm gonna open and then I'll show you an overview of what the kids got. I got more than them, let's be real, but I got, you know, practical stuff like toothbrushes and it, here's your last chance to put in your guess. Who, what are you gonna win? I would say you win the toothbrushes, but I just, I want the toothbrush. Wouldn't that be fun if I went to the thrift store and did a giveaway at, like of thrifted goods? Ooh, would you want me to do that? Maybe we'll do like an Instagram live and you people will be like, yeah, get that. And I'll be like, okay. And then it'll just all be in a giveaway. Right now. That Sarasota picture. What in the heck is this? Dentox Pro. Whatever it is, it is sealed shut. If you're a dentist out there and know anything about that, if you're a dental hygienist. Okay, first of all, we have dental floss. We have Sensodyne. We have Colgate. You know, maybe a dentist office was going out. All right, hold on. We also have Crest. Hey man, this will get used. I'll use it, I'll use it. Start the count. These are nice quality toothbrushes. Like Oral-B, are you joking? Actually, this isn't, this is just heads. What are we gonna count here? What counts as a toothbrush? All right, let the count begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I should have guessed. I should have guessed. What was I at? 14 or 15? Oh, crap. 15. Is that right? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Kids toothbrushes, 20, 21, 22, 23. This is a weird travel one. We'll do 24. I'm not gonna count these because what are you gonna do? Hold them with your finger? What was that? 23 or 24? I can't remember. If my life depended on it, I would say 23. Maybe. All right, well, whoever won, you earned bragging rights. That is it. That is my haul, I think. I'll, 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 the rest of it I'll put out, but, and then I'll show you now. Okay, so over here we have Avelina's loot. Over here we have Eleanor's loot. And then in the middle here we have combined loot. So, Avelina really needed this uh, shopping cart. You know, don't ask me. My kids are really <laughs> random and creative and I just, I just encourage it, okay? This is for art supplies, I don't even know. Some bracelets for a dollar. She found this to, oh, it even came with keys. Hey, ho, uh, to keep her, uh, you know, valued possessions. She got some more sunglasses. I feel like last time she also got sunglasses because on our bucket list is to decorate sunglasses. You know, don't ask me. Whatever gets them off their screens. I'm like, okay, that's cool, three bucks, you got it. Hey, I also found these uh, pencils. Not I found them, the kids found them. They're large and in charge and they do work. And I wanna say I had one when I was a kid and it, these things were not cheap, okay? I'm just gonna say that right there. This is for the shower, a shower LED light set. Figured they, they wanna save it for when they get their um, shower done and then a hot seat i think that's a card game they were talking to me about it i said whatever if you guys are going to play it that's cool that's cool and then some shopkins because i guess they're all the rage they don't sell them anymore are they out you guys i literally throw shopkins away when i find them on the floor and i'm sweeping i'm like what just nope in the dustpan you go like i don't have the mental capacity to just pick them up anymore do you know what i mean i'm sorry not sorry I spent an arm and a leg on them years and years ago, and apparently it's like uh, the Beanie Babies that we thought 
were valuable. Now, apparently these are. I don't know, don't ask me. I don't really know, I just know from my kids. Oh, I forgot a couple. She has a stitch. Avelina just needed a counterpart and then like, you know, a keychain for all their keys that they have. And then, uh, this is actually a good find, a cover or a case. Didn't we get um, case protectors? Oh no, that's the glass shield, whatever. And then some paints because Eleanor is an artist. I don't know what these are. Punking ball? Puking ball? Pooking. Pucking? You guys, I told you, hooked on phonics, okay? And then she found some Aaron's putty clay, something like that. Crazy Aaron's sensory putty. And then these gel pens. She found this in the, uh, the the office supply section or artist section, what I don't know what it's called. And then it has this kit in here. You guys, this kit alone with the um, the colored pencils, it rolls up, comes in this thing. You guys, that's like 15 bucks on its own. And then these gel pens, there's like three sets of gel pens in there. It's crazy sauce, it's crazy. And then these, this was uh, the most expensive. These are oil-based markers, three, six, nine, nine, packs of them for 15 bucks. Cool, cool, cool. Wasn't that amazing? Thank you guys so much for watching, hang out with me, thrifting with me. That was fun, I'm glad I found that picture. Oh, that's not it. That's not the end, I totally forgot about this. Hey, ho, everybody loves a pedestal, cake stand, a platter. I don't know what this is called, man. It's called a lift. All right, now we're done. <laughs> Thanks again for hanging out, thrifting with me, and all that good stuff. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.